No matter what was happening in the world, no matter what was happening in my life, my job was to come into the theater every night and simply tell a story about human kindness. And when you feel the acceptance of our message at the end of the show during that curtain call, it's as if you're being hit with this wall of energy and of joy. And that's how I get to leave work every night, knowing that the stories that we tell can change people's lives. And I miss that so much. I found out about the shutdown from a text, actually. It was, uh, it was the governor's text stating that Broadway was shut down and we weren't allowed to go back to our theater. I remember walking from Midtown Manhattan to Brooklyn and seeing the rest of New York kind of go on with their lives. At 5 p.m. Thursday, Broadway officially went dark. The governor's order will shut down all Broadway theaters effective at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Where there would normally be lines of theater goers, there are none. I think the hardest part about this pandemic is that we went so insular and here we were being given this gift of opening the world up, right? And, uh, and we were, uh, it was all taken away from us. Welcome to the rock if you come from the way. <laughs> you probably understand about half of what we say. <laughs> we say no man's an island, but an island makes a man. Especially when one comes from one like Newfoundland. Welcome to the rock. Everybody has tons of other things on their plate at this very moment in the history of humanity. And so some new person coming into show, it's not a priority, but this group of people, being who they are, having the enormous amounts of empathy that they all individually do, it's been such a gift in how, in how welcoming they've been. We're all getting a really kind of cool opportunity, some of us to investigate the show for the first time, others to reinvestigate. I've got the SPCA lady on the line again asking about animals. I was here on 9-11, I was here. I remember it was the most awful day. It was the most awful day. I'll never forget it. You look down at that skyline and it's something that has changed New York forever. So what a gift this has been to honor these people and honor this community and honor this city through this work, the work of Come From Away, through the stories that we're telling to say, yes, something horrible happened, something horrific happened. Oh my God, did the world come together. I'm so glad to be a part of this show to sort of flip it all on its head, all that bad tragedy that occurred that day, to just sort of flip it and see what good came out of it and how we should continue to live with just open hearts, open doors, kindness and gratitude. I feel like we're in a moment of just massive division in our world. This show from the first moments has simply been about how at our core, we just want to take care of each other and how kindness can absolutely change your life. This show is about grace, showing grace to other people when it is difficult to do that. And I think right now in our country and perhaps even around the world, that is not just a nice message, but maybe a vital message. I think perhaps we've forgotten not how to do it, but to do it to show grace to other people. Life has changed in a visceral way. And for us to not bring that into the show and make it even more potent and more realistic and more honest and simpler would be foolish. So what, what a gift for an actor to be able to come in and re-explore and kind of say hi again to, to these people and this story. We've got almost 7,000 people that might be spending the night. Jesus, that's near as many as we got living here in town. The show, and I can almost speak for almost the entire cast, has completely changed my life. I can't wait to step out on that stage and see people in our house. The other actor in our show is the audience, and we've been missing it you know, for these 18 months. In the winter from the water to whatever's in the way to the ones who have come from away.